Driver Dan Me Alright guys, it's Friday and it's 1pm-ish. 1, 1 now, normally I wouldn't come out this early because it's known as the really slow hours, at least the back end of the slow hours, but I was sitting around the house doing nothing, so I may as well, you know, may as well come out and do a bit and see how we get on. I'm not, I haven't done this particular hour, 1 to 2 p.m. before in a, in a long time, a long, long time. So I'm interested to see whether it's what I remember it being, pointless, or whether it's actually worth it. Let's see how I get on. Three o'clock, and I'm, all, I'm only on 32 quid. So 15 quid an hour in the last two hours. But do you know what? One of them jobs was a 20 quid one. And it took me an hour. Because it was it was about a nine mile job. So it was worthwhile doing. And then it was from A to B to C. So she had a few stops in it. And he ends up going via the city centre. I reckon that's what slowed me right down. But yeah, it took me a whole hour just for one job. Prior to that, it was it was going okay. But it has started to rain. That's what we want, isn't it? A rain. Let's see if we get some surges or at least busy the next hour. Five past ten past four. And I'm on 65 quid. How crazy is it that the two hours prior I've just done in an hour... That's the, the crazy thing about Uber. You just don't know what you're going to earn. And now that it averages out over the three hours of being out, it's over 20 quid an hour. So it's great when it works out like that. The rain didn't last long. The rain only lasted about half an hour and then went off. So I don't think there's going to be any big smack surges anywhere. My alarm bells did just ring with a particular customer. She gets in the car and says her name. I went, okay, starts driving. And then she said, I'm not going to let, let's say Lucy for, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to let Lucy arrange things anymore. This is ridiculous. And I went, I thought your name was Lucy. It wasn't, but as I said, that's what I'm saying for the video sake. She went, oh, I oh know my Uber account's banned. I went, your Uber account's banned? How can you get banned from Uber? They went, oh, I, I, I had an argument with a driver. Oh, proper alarm bells went off. So I made a point of saying, well, I've got my CCTV there. She went, oh, no, I wasn't going to report you for anything. No, you weren't, because I've got my CCTV. Anyway, see how I get on in the next hour. Ten past five, and I'm on 86, I think it is. Yeah, I'll stick it here anyway. Right, now, I'm quite close to my house. So I'm going to nip in and have a quick coffee now, 20 minute break, why not? And then I'll come back out. So I'll be back out about half five and then take it from there. So hopefully the next time you see me, it'll be half six. Uh, traffic on the road, loads of me. So quick break Jordan peak hour. <laughs> I'm probably the only driver that lever. Oh, there's too much traffic. Let's have a little break. <laughs> well, it's half six and I'm on. 113 so it's been a very good hour for me i think but you know what i've stuck to all the little jobs i haven't done any of the big ones going across the city i've said no to them all and i've stuck to them little ones that's like go a mile drop off for a mile fiver go a mile drop off for a mile fiver now the only bad thing you have with them type of jobs is you meet a lot more people and you'd have to deal with a lot more personalities and i've just had a guy and he was a bit unpolite, should we say. And I went, ah, I see why you've got not such a good rating, mate. It was 4.1. And he went, what do you mean, rating? And I went, oh, yeah, yeah. I love telling them, you know. I went, oh, yeah, we rate you too. That's a two-way street. And he goes, how can you rate me? I'm paying you. I went, you're not paying me. I said, I can stop the car now and kick you out. And I'll still get the job money. Because you pay Uber, mate, and Uber pays me. That's the way it works. And he was so confused. Then all of a sudden, dead polite, dead nice. His attitude disappeared. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See you in an hour. So it's about quarter past 20 past eight. So yeah, I'm currently on 141. Now, if you, if you think about it, what I've been doing is I've been sticking to the little trips. 
I haven't felt like cross country today. <laughs> I haven't felt like going everywhere today. So all the little trips I've been keeping, any of the big trips, I've just been, no, no. And I've ended up doing, you know, I'll show you, 21 trips. So if you take them earnings and average it by 21, that's an average of £6.71, £6.70-ish per trip. And that's just sticking to the local ones. Now, if you compare this to my last week's Friday, I've actually did better this time around. But, it, oh, you know, as I was sticking to the little jobs, I think the algorithm got onto it. And it started offering me more of the little jobs. I'm not sure I like that. But then it offered me this one. Now, <laughs> now if you look at this one, you can see it's one of the little jobs. Similar to what I'd been doing. A little bit on the cheaper side, because I'd been keeping them around five to eight quid, say. Multi-stop. A multi-stop. <laughs> multi-stop for four quid. How can they be a multi-stop that... Look at the distance. It's only like 0 0.6. How can they be a multi-stop that close together? It's like bump, 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 end of the street. No, I didn't know what that was. It felt like a trap. It felt like the customer would have got in and went, oh, I'm just going to add another stop after they'd picked the mate up. I reckon it was one of them, so... It smelt like a trap, so I stayed away from it. <laughs> anyway, it's Saturday. It's around 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. I told you I'd generally come out about this time. Yesterday wasn't too bad till I got that stupid big job, and then it kind of put me off, so I just stuck to the little one. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do today. I will avoid the city centre. Hey, so, you know, remember last week when they offered me four quid for the Saturdays? They've done the same offer. You know, to try and intense me to go into the city centre. Only this time, they've decided to lower it to £3. So, I didn't do any of the jobs for £4. So, Uber's logic is, let's give them the offer again, but lower. <laughs> yeah, so that's not going to happen, is it? So, from 12 till 3, yeah, I'll stick it here. So, that's what it looks like. I've also had a customer phone me this morning at half 10. Saying she'd left her earpods in my car. So that's going to be another nightmare for me to sort out. I said, phone me back in an hour and a half and I'll check the car. She phoned me, She hasn't phoned me back yet, but I've checked the car and I've found them. So I'll have to go and return them to her. I don't think she's too far from my house, though. I think it was one of my last jobs. So that's not too bad. Um, did you see as well, last week, or the week before, it was this screenshot where Uber teens, I've been ta talking to you about Uber teens for a long time. So this was in everyone's inbox. If you want them to look in to see whether you can do Uber teens, then do it. I don't know whether we're going to shoot ourselves in the foot if we do something like that, though, to be honest. Anyway, let's see how today gets on. Three o'clock, and I'm on 26 quid. So definitely, absolutely a good first hour. I did have a customer that I wasn't impressed with, where the pickup point was on a roundabout. Why is it letting them set it as a roundabout? It should be like a safety thing straight away. And then as I'm driving around the roundabout, she's waving me down. I said, I'll, just, I'll just pull over you on a roundabout and get you. I pointed to at the end of the roundabout on the other side. And then she did nothing but moan when she got in that that wasn't the pickup point. So I had to explain to her, you know, <laughs> I can't stop. On a roundabout. Five past four. I'm on 46 quid. So in the last hour, what, 20 quid? It's okay, but it's, it is five past four, so it is over the hour. So I imagine the next hour is not going to be 20 quid. It's, off, it's doing it again where it's offering jobs that are absolutely miles away from me. And it's like, surely there's a closer driver to it, to that job than me. The amount of drivers you see when you open the Uber app and have a look. It's R5 and I'm on 71 quid. And the reason I'm giving you an R5 one is because I have to go and fill up on juice. So I may as well have a coffee at the same time. So I'm not sure when I'll come back out, but I'll let you know in the next take. I've just had a customer and they had all kinds of bags and stuff, you know, when you pull up to them. But they had a young baby as well, like a five month old baby. So I got the baby and put the baby in the car and done the seatbelts because a lot of people don't know how to use seatbelts. Anyway, 
puts all the stuff in the boot and they weren't going far, they were only going a mile. The job was like £5.50. So I takes them. And as I get to, can you help me with all my stuff? So I was like, okay. But it's one of them where inside your head you're thinking, <sighs> <laughs> as I'm driving away, it comes up, congratulations, you got a £2 tip. I felt so bad thinking the way I was, and then I got a £2 tip. So I come back out at quarter past six. So there's me quarter past seven screenshot. I just scraped the 20 quid an hour. And that was only because of another pound tip. I need one of them hours that, you know, it's Saturday. I need one of them big, chunky hours to make me feel a bit better. Because at the moment, the coffee was too nice in the house. And I just, I might, I might just want another one. <laughs> but I can't give up yet. It's Saturday night, it should be booming. Hopefully, the next hour is going to make me, you know, give me an energizer bunny boost. It's quite a fast eight, right? And I am on 135. Now, I know I said I wanted a good hour, but I did not expect £42 in an hour. I don't even believe this. And I'm the one with the screenshot showing you. <laughs> and I'm like, that is crazy. It's probably going to punish me now for this next hour, but I've, I haven't had that good an hour in ages, to be honest. I think the last time I had an, an hour like that was when they had a promo. You know, one of them do 10 jobs in so many hours, and when that bit come in, for like 15, 20 quid, whatever it was, I think that was the last time I had a, a good hour like that. It was one, it was quite a big job. It was one job going 11 miles. And they offered me 22 quid. And then the woman gave me a fiver tip. So that was decent. And then the other bits was just, just local. Just local to where I was. Quarter past nine and I'm on 161. The job offers have got a bit slower now. So you can't be as picky now, I don't think. Still good though, what I've done in the last, last hour. But I've just had one of them jobs where it was going from A to B, a straightforward shooter job, and it was 15 quid, so it was like, yeah, I'll do that. So just as I got to the house, just before it said I was there, so they must have been watching me on the app, they updated it and added five stops. So they added five, so it was the one I was picking them up from, they added five, so it was six, six stops along the bus. It was like, no, I am not doing that. So I immediately cancelled it and just turned around and drove away. And I seen them coming out the house as well, coming towards me. But I was already turning around and just drove off and cancelled it. Yeah, do that. It's quarter past ten and I'm on 177. So it's not been great the last hour, but it was. It just felt like that was going to happen. I just knew it was going to happen, like I said in the, in the last update. The jobs were coming through slower, so I, I had less options, and it was still throwing out them £3.70 ones, and it was like, keep throwing them out, right out the back of my car, because I ain't doing them. Then I got a job from a guy from, um, it was like a Weatherspoons or something, you know, one of them type of pubs, and as I, as I pulled up, he's coming out, and he's got three kids with him, and two adults, and as he's, I went, mate, I'm only licensed for four people. He went, they're only kids. I went, they're still people. <laughs> and he went, oh, I'll take the baby back into her mum then. She can come later. So we went back in with one of the kids, back into the Weatherspoons, and then come back out and got in. And as we're driving along to his destination, he went, can you stop at the offy? I went, oh, mate, I don't mean to be one of these stiffler with the rules, but it needs to be on the app. And he went, oh, she spooked it, not me. I went, oh... I went, is it, is it on the way? And he went, yeah, you don't even have to turn. I went, look, I'm not meant to, but I'll stop if you're quick. I didn't want to be, you know, a double, a double divvy kind of thing. So I pulls over and his mate who was sitting next to me gives me a fiver and says, ah, oh, thanks for that, mate. Thanks, here's a fiver. I'll just shoot in the offy. So he goes in the offy and he, he was only about, he was only about a minute he comes back out gets in drives up drops him at the destination as they're all getting out 
and going into his house, the fella who was originally behind me leans forward and went, yeah, our mate, there's a five and then shuts the door and he's gone. Oh, I got a tenner. <laughs> Both of them tipped me a five for stopping for them. So that was a win. And then I've got another win story for you. You know, the... Um, the ear pods I'd told you about that I thought were going to be an absolute nightmare. Because it was so quiet, this this last, must have been 15 minutes or so, I decided to go to her address. I'd spoke to her early on, I don't think I'd mentioned it, but I had spoke to her and got her address. And then I turned up at their address and they were having, they were having a big Halloween party. So I knocked on the door, took a while for them to answer. The girl comes out. And went, oh, thank you so much for bringing these back to me. She went, watch your bank details and I'll send you some money over. I went, oh, we're not allowed to give our bank details out. And she went, I'll tip you on the app then. You know, like that. So she went, I'll call it a tenner. Cha-ching. So I got a tenner for that. But it never went on today's earnings. It went on to yesterday's earnings. Now, I've seen other people say they've got a tip on the app from days before and it's gone on the earnings for that day but it didn't with me it went on the day before so yeah that was a bit strange anyway it's sunday yep so it's 12 o'clock and i've come out at 12 o'clock super early for me this normally my shifts don't start till well later but the reason why is because there's a local game going on at r4 now, last time I did a video when there was a local game coming on, and um, it went really quiet when the game started. So hopefully the next couple of hours at least are going to be reasonably busy. And it is raining, so that's a good sign too. But like always, who knows what's going to happen. The more work it gives me, the longer I'll stay out. If it keeps feeding me decent jobs, I'm going to stay out. See how I do. Two hours in, and I'm on 39 quid, the I'll stick it there. And I'm sure you can see by the background, I'm actually in the city centre. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Loads of jobs are popping up heading towards Anfield, naturally. But, uh, no thank you, I don't want to go that way. Because I'll just be stuck with all the other hundreds of drivers that are going to be there after they've dropped off the one person. And the offers aren't too great neither towards Anfield, I'll be honest. You'd think it would be surging with the amount that's popping up asking me. But um, it's not surging and the offers are like seven quid to go to Anfield. So it's like, no thanks. This isn't an earnings update clip. But for the past 15 minutes or so, it hasn't offered me a job. Now, look at this. Since the start, if 30 jobs has offered me. And they've all been really bad jobs. They've all been like four miles away. Going a couple of miles, say three miles, and they've been offering six quids and stuff. And it's like, no, I won't do it. And then obviously I've, I, there was a couple that from the city centre were going to the stadium. So I've said no to a few of them. But now I've just said no to three in a row. And it hasn't offered me a job for a bit. Now, I know there's absolutely no proof of a sin bin or anything like that, or they would even refuse saying stuff like that. But when you refuse three in a, lot, in a row and then it makes you sit and wait for a bit, you can't help but think there's some truth behind them rumours, can you? It's four o'clock and I'm on 80 quid. Took a gamble before and got a job back to the city centre, hoping that maybe there'd be a surge, you know, at the being a match. There was no surge. And the jobs were still seven quid going to Anfield. <laughs> no dags. Half six. And I just carried right the way through. No breaks. No stops. And I'm on 134 and pence. Oh yeah, I'll stick it here. Now, what had happened was, I think, why it was quite busy. Because it's not it's nothing special today. But I, re I think the reason it was busy is because the was train lines off between Liverpool and Warrington so I think a lot of them drivers were doing them jobs you know that I wouldn't do going to Warrington which freed up it, it was just it was really busy 
It also could have been because the match let out in Anfield and I wasn't in Anfield. So all kinds of stuff. It was like one of them perfect storms where it made everything nice and that's why I've carried on. And it kept feeding me, so I kept eating. <laughs> anyway, let's do the roundup. Friday's hours, Friday's earnings, Friday by the hour. We've got Saturday's hours, Saturday's earnings, Saturday by the hour. We've got Sunday's hours, Sunday's earnings, Sunday by the hour. Put it all together, this video's total hours. This video's total earnings. This video's total by the hour. That's not too bad, is it? Quite pleased with that. See you in the next one.